you're seeing, you know, firsthand, really immediate as they're happening are coming to us from viewers, coming to us through social media. We want to check in with our Laura Harris now. She has been uh, scouring Facebook, scouring Twitter, and, and compiling some of the best uh, still images and videos we've seen yet. Uh, Laura, what do you have? And I know it was really hard to be able to tell what you were looking at in that picture. Dia was saying, what are we looking yeah, at? Yeah, I couldn't it just, tell. Well, here's the thing, Dia. Actually, where that is, is I-275 and West Shore. The only reason I know this is because I called the embassy suites that's right there. The guy says people can't get in, can't get out. So that's the picture that we're getting from, if you can only imagine, Bill Logan telling us this is historic flooding we're seeing right now. We've been seeing all kinds of tweets. Uh, we appreciate you all sending all of this in. Please make sure you do it safely. I want you to see this picture right here. This is alternate 19 at Tarpon Springs. I mean, some of these people sending us pictures because literally there's nothing else to do while they're sitting in their cars. They can't get out. Uh, our Christy Post from the now Tampa Bay, she's out on Kennedy right now. And check this out. Buddy Brew Coffee, they're handing out free coffee to people who are stranded in their cars right now. So that's what we're seeing over in the South Tampa area. Also wanted to show you this one. Pasco County Sheriff tweeting this out just a little while ago. Sheriff Nako saying, have a plan, leave work early. Get your kids early. And if you don't have to leave your house, as Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn said last night, live on our air, 6 o'clock, he said, if you don't have to leave your house, don't. Many of us had a really hard time getting to work today. I mean, most of the ro roads around the station completely flooded out because we just can't take this much rain and more of it wow. is on the way. I want to show you this picture coming in. All right. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, like I said, okay, this is our Christie Post again. Uh, they're just trying to get down in the area of Hyde Park Village. You see that truck in front of them having a difficult time trying to get through all of this water. So this I mean, is what it is. Going up to the wheel wells. Some people I saw as I was heading into work this morning off Himes Avenue, uh, even on the Dale Mabry area. It's not even a tropical storm, but it's historic flooding that we're seeing. Well, at least we are high and dry, but there's areas very close by that are underwater where I used to live. Not right where I lived, but in the downtown area of Tarpon Springs. Oh, jeez. But anyway, I'm safe. This looks like it's Henderson. I'm going to guess on that one. I do think that's Henderson at some point. Unreal. Uh, yes, I can tell that's kind of like where you can get those oil changes right there. I can't even tell what these streets are. This picture speaks for itself. Ola, where did this come from? Where's this one? Newport Ritchie, this is happening. My goodness. And these pictures, are just unbelievable. Look, this is what some people are looking at in front of their homes right now. You can see the mailbox. So there's the mailbox post there. I guess this is where they're supposed to get out to their driveway. That's non-existent anymore. And apparently this was supposed to be the street at some point. And these pictures her car because it's been sitting for quite a while. Uh, we talked to a guy uh, earlier this morning who said water was coming into his apartment. So we I'm really lucky. He said her mother had to be rescued from her house. A lot of people have a lot of stories about how the flood is affecting them. This flooding is affecting them. I think we want to check in with Jackie Callaway right now, who's going to give you some more advice on how to deal with the floodwaters. If maybe you need to make an insurance claim, cases, will you be protected from flood damage? We want to restate what we stated earlier. If you have flood insurance and you're a renter or you have renter's insurance, you don't yet know if it covers flooding, you need to make a call right away. In the meantime, anything that is on the floor... Clearwater, Florida. To you, ...you want to get it up off the floor, as we said earlier. Right Even two inches of standing water can destroy your belongings. Um, secure your people and your pets first before you evacuate your home. And here's kind of the bottom line as far as... All morning, and, uh, and we'll be back to you here shortly. I'm reporting live in Palm Harbor, Clifton French, ABC Action News. All right, thank you, Clifton. We also would encourage you, if you can, to continue sending us pictures of flooding. In, in okay, so RV Dub's here. I'm talking flooding. Um, that last picture was right around the corner, so I'm not even going to leave the trailer park today at all because we are high and dry right here. But if I just go out around the corner it's flooded so that's the end of me going anywhere today and um i don't know i don't know how long this is supposed to last i mean it could last another day or two i don't know but anyway wish us all luck here in palm harbor florida and um yeah
I'm fine and I'm safe. That's all I can do is just watch TV and keep inside and that's about it. Look at that. It's amazing. Ay, ay, ay. They are evacuating people in RVs in an RV park right at the corner down about probably a quarter of a mile from here. So I'm lucky I picked this place because if you look outside my dining room, you can see we're not flooded here. And um, the man, I appreciate that for sure. Okay, so there's always, always going to be problems no matter where you are. Oops, shoot. Dropped something. <coughs> See, we're dry here. I hope it stays that way. Yes, baby, everything's fine. Everything's fine, my little darlings.